Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we started uh, to gain some fame and piracy and money by attacking a merchant fleet, and the Spanish decided that they want the ship back that they stole from us, so they sent out a reconnaissance fleet to attack us. But fortunately, we took care of that. So now we just need to start building our fame and piracy and uh, earning some money to do that. So, there's a couple of potential fleets for us to attack and to take out. Now remember, viewers, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but since these fleets are here and we just want to build up uh, fame and piracy as quickly as possible, I I personally think it's okay to just take out everybody as quickly as you can. So we're gonna start by we're gonna start doing that. And the first guy I'm gonna take out is this Dutch uh, battle fleet right here. So I'm gonna win this battle really quickly, hopefully, and uh, I'll be right back because you now know how to do it. Um, I'm just gonna attack him, challenge him to a duel, probably take his ships and sell them in that near port of Suda too. So I'll take care of all that and be right back. Okay, we took care of that. Uh, this guy doesn't really have any ships that we could use, so we're just going to let him go for now. Um, but let's see who we got here. Oh, that's one of our own guys. We're not going to attack one of our own countrymen. That's a British merchant fleet. Okay, well, uh, one of the things I also want to do is I want to hire some new guys on my team. But we're going to avoid him for now. Um, and uh, so we're going to go and do that. And we're finding a couple ports along the way. That's good. Okay, who do we got here? Okay, I would attack him, viewers, but unfortunately he's got a Venetian, and we can't quite defeat him yet. We're going to head up here to the port of Barcelona, hopefully. Okay, who do we got here? Mm. Yeah, Portuguese. I don't worry about, not necessarily caring about him. Okay, we're going to head up here to the port of Barcelona, because there's a guy here that I want to hire. But, unfortunately, there's a blockade, so we can't do that. Okay, so, uh, sorry, viewers. Okay, D D D D D. Okay, we gotta go in the nighttime. We're probably gonna um, ally this port back with us, and I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. Uh, what's the? Ooh, this could be a good port to get for us. Um, so we're gonna invest in this port, and we're going to uh, get it on our side because I feel we might be able to get a royal mission. Okay, here's a guy we want to hire. This is Luca Ullman. And uh, he's pretty cheap, and he's got really, really good seamanship. So we're going to get him. This episode is going to be a lot of me uh, going hiring some guys. Um, most of you have seen this already before. But, uh, oh shoot, I forgot to... Well, I don't really need to invest, that's fine. Um, a lot of you have seen this before, and if you have, I apologize. But um, some of you may not have seen this stuff before. So I definitely want to show it. Okay, now once you hire a guy, you want to kind of go down in this area, because there's a lot of fleets that appear in just in this general area. And so this is going to be a good uh, good area for us to target people to destroy. Here's another, uh, I want to hire another guy here in Naples. And so we're going to go up here. And let's see. Yep, there's Dante Palara. He's another good guy for us to hire. He's cheap and good seamanship. That's pretty much the, uh, the two best characteristics for hiring a guy is if he's cheap and if he has good seamanship and Dante can also be our first uh, first mate so we might as well do that to build some of his levels and Antoine can be our bookkeeper and we'll make Luca our chief navigator to build his levels okay we're good to go now okay now we need to go find another fleet to attack because I really don't want to pay for food and water Ah, uh, Fame and Piracy is doing pretty good. 3,200. You got 22 gold bars already. That's pretty good. And, oh yeah, I got to resupply. Shoot. That's all right. Still pretty cheap for us to do that. And, um, 14 days. Okay, cool. So we want to start, uh, also, in some of these ports, start looking for Venetians. Okay, so we'll start doing that. Uh, let's see... I'm going to hang out in this area a little bit. There's usually guy for us, guys for us to fight and defeat. Ah, there's an Italian. Well, the Italians don't really have good ships for us, so we'll just let him go. I mean, yeah, I could get fame and piracy, but I also want to make sure that I'm getting ships. So, Ah, here's a good one for us to defeat. We can sell his ships, and uh, he's got a pretty high battle level, so we'll actually get good um, uh, fame and piracy for beating him. So, come on. I don't tell me he's going to get away. Ugh, okay. Sorry, viewers. Uh, sometimes, see, the galleon moves really slowly, and 
Otto hasn't really developed his seamanship yet, so unfortunately we can't go that fast. But we'll get there. There is not. Oh, who's that? Let's see here. Ah, another Portuguese battle fleet. All right, yeah, I'll take him out just because I need some food and water. Plus, uh, he's just in the wrong place in the wrong time. So, okay, let me take care of this, win this battle real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm here in the port of Valencia, uh, which is just uh, right outside the uh, where we did our last victory. And I'll show you where that is in the map when we leave. But I want to show you this real quick. Um, so I'm really tired of these blockades. So I'm in here in a Spanish port, and I want to get it back on our side. So what we're going to do is we're going to invest some money. And if you remember this from um, Ali's walkthrough, it's the exact same. You want to invest about 10 times the amount of what the current rate is. So it, it was at uh, 300, so we invest 10 times, or 100 times as much, 30,000 gold. And we get some fame and trade, which doesn't really matter, but it just stops the blockade, which is really nice, and it can be very helpful. And while we're here, we want to hire a new guy, and I'll show you this guy real fast. And again, the more guys you hire, um, the more ships you can take, and the more money you can make from winning battles. So this is Diago Fagundi, so he also has high, high seamanship. And eventually, when we start building our fleet, we want to have guys with high seamanship so that we can pretty much sail anywhere really quickly. Good hire, and another guy on our team. This is good. So, we're just moving right along here, and we're also probably gonna be able to start getting royal missions, which is gonna help build our fame and piracy tremendously. Okay, Luca, yes, you can stay with us, that's fine. And the king of England is looking for us. So, we're gonna start making our way back towards um, London. And we're probably going to make some stops along the way because I want to check for Venetians. And there's probably going to be some more guys for us to defeat. Let's see who we got here. Ah, the Spanish. We know we can't let them move. So, let me win this battle real quick and I'll be right back. I'll sell my ships in Algiers as well and then I'll meet you guys right outside of Algiers. Ooh, this will be a good one. Okay, folks, we made it here to the port of Algiers, and wow, our fame and piracy just shot up. Holy cow. I guess if you attack um, people from the country you're after with a letter of mark, um, you get more fame and piracy. I actually didn't know that until now, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, okay, let's see what we got here. Shall we be off to the cafe? What a surprise. Matthew is ready to eat again. So, all right, well, can't keep a hungry man waiting, so let's go to the cafe and... Feed that big appetite of his. By the way, he called him an omnivorous cow. I may have to remember that. That's a good line. Commodore, let's eat. And apparently that's it. Okay. Hmm, I still think Otto kind of looks like a superhero, you know? That green cape in the back. I don't know. Anyways. Um, so, well, there's not a whole lot more we can do here, so let's get out of here. Um... Go up here, and have you heard? They say that there are ghosts around the trader's place. Would we go ahead and have a look? Uh, sure. No problem. Let's go over here. Commodore, is something wrong? Let's go. Just a moment. I hear something. It sounds like it's coming from the storage area. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Don't say things like that. I hate those kinds of things. Yeah, what could that be? Let's just check it out. Okay, let's do that. Just as curious as ever. Okay. The big sack over there is moving. It's a monster. Ah, a ghost. Ah, there's no such thing as ghosts. It'll be all right. We're going to open it. Okay, let's take a look. There's two people tied up here. Okay, well, let's, let's untie them. Hey, I recognize that guy. Hey, you loafing bums, hurry up and untie us. But where have I seen him before? Hmm. Well, apparently he's not very good with words because he's... Yeah, you, know, you don't want to threaten the people that can help you. What are you fellows doing there? Well, who are you? You work for Jow? Who's Jow? Well, we of course know who Jow is, so... I challenge you to a duel. You don't want to mess with us. But okay. Man, I should have just taken her out right there. But, okay. Yeah, we were just passing by, looking for ghosts, apparently. Yes. And that's Andreas. Okay. Was it Jow? Who is this Jow fellow? So I think this is the game's uh, way of kind of tying Otto into the story, you know. 
he uh, he, he, there, he doesn't really do anything in his uh, story. I mean, with Catalina, he meets up with them a little bit, but um, I think this is a way of tying them together through auto scenario. So um, there's something to think about. Okay, it's too late now. It wouldn't do us any good, so I guess Zhao escaped. He's a little jumpy lately. Okay, why is that? Oh, the commander of a fleet from England. That's right. I'd like to hear about it over a cup of tea. Ooh, is he asking her out? Yeah. Otto's trying to, yeah, play the game. Yeah, I like that. And she said yes. So, man, Catalina's going to go on a date with Otto. Otto's going to try and get him some. Yeah, boy. All right. Well, I'm almost out of time, unfortunately. But next time, we're going to see how the date unfolds and see if we can advance both of the stories. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.